The U.S. Army's new super helicopter is coming. The biggest aircraft development contracts likely to be awarded by America's military in this decade won't be coming from the Air Force or Navy. The program is called Future Vertical Lift, and it promises to offer such sizable gains in capability that all the other military services are likely to buy in if the Army gets it right. Getting it right means fielding successors to the retired Kiowa Scout helicopter and ubiquitous Black Hawk Assault helicopter that are much more lethal, survivable, and affordable. For starters, the Army wants the next generation of rotorcraft to fly at least twice as far and twice as fast as the helicopters it operates today. To counter great power competitors, the U.S. Army must operate in highly contested and degraded environments against adversaries with advanced integrated air defense systems. The Army is depending on the development of two new vertical lift aircraft weapon systems to help meet this threat. It might select an advanced tilt rotor offered by Bell Textron, designated as the V-280 Valor, or it might select the coaxial lift compound rotor helicopter offered by a Sikorsky Boeing team, designated Defiant X. One airframe may perform better getting to the landing zone, the other better once it's there. But there's little doubt that either entry will far surpass the performance of Black Hawk, the most widely used military helicopter in the world. Bell designed two modern clean sheet aircraft and evolved them into agile, low-risk solutions for the future long-range assault aircraft, FLRAA, and future attack reconnaissance aircraft, FARA, programs. Both weapon systems give the U.S. Army the proven unmatched speed, agility, and reach it requires to support the joint force in joint all-domain operations. Bell's future vertical lift aircraft will not only help the U.S. Army modernize, it will also grow and strengthen the U.S. industrial base. Bell V-280 Valor Purpose-built to revolutionize the reach and effectiveness of each mission while offering unmatched maneuverability, reduced downtime, and elevated mission safety, with over twice the speed and range as current weapon systems, the Bell V-280 Valor is the proven long-range maneuver solution, flying more than 300 knots and achieving more than 200 flight hours. The Bell V-280 revolutionizes Army overmatch with over twice the range and speed than the current fleet. The only long-range assault solution with the ability to maneuver ground forces at ranges and speeds required for multi-domain operations. Companion to the Bell V-280 Valor The Bell 360 Invictus is the attack reconnaissance leader for the U.S. Army's future vertical lift program. Together, these weapon systems deliver mission-critical lethality, reach, and sustainability. The new mission equipment won't just be used on the Black Hawk successor, it'll also be used on a successor to the Kiowa Scout helicopter that's being separately developed by Sikorsky and Bell teams. Here again, whichever design prevails will likely far surpass what came before earning the status of the most advanced scout helicopter ever built. Today, the threat has shifted to near-peer nations, meaning Russia and China, so the Army no longer can put off replacing its Cold War helicopters. Some helicopters, such as Kiowa and Black Hawk, will be replaced sooner, while others, such as the Apache Tank Killer, will be replaced later but eventually all of the Army's current helicopters will be supplanted by a new generation of rotorcraft. Waiting so long to modernize creates serious operational concerns in Eastern Europe, where Russian air defenses have proliferated 
and the Western Pacific where distances limit the utility of existing helicopters. However, there is a silver lining to the delays. The Army can now exploit breakthroughs like digital engineering and rapid software development to fashion new rotorcraft that were not available a decade ago. It's leveraging these breakthroughs to design and manufacture aircraft that will be cheaper to build and operate than legacy rotorcraft despite the big gains in performance. The Differences Between the V-22 Osprey and V-280 Valor The V-280 Valor has two engines, but unlike its larger ancestor, the Osprey, those engines don't physically move when the rotors they power change position, giving it a simplicity bonus over the V-22. Only the rotors swivel. With the aircraft hovering and its two rotors configured in the helicopter position, it's easy to imagine how catastrophic it would be if one of them lost power. Thankfully, the two engines on the aircraft can power either rotor, just like on the Osprey. That's different from what happens when, for example, a commercial aircraft loses one of its jet engines, the other engine can't magically send power over to its disabled partner. With the Valor, two engines push power to the gearbox system. Those two engines theoretically could be located anywhere on the aircraft. Even when they're both operating normally, the flight control computers determine how much power is taken from each engine to feed the system of gearboxes and drive shafts. Both engines power both rotors, and if one engine fails, both rotors still spin. The Valor benefits from everything the industry has learned on the Osprey. It was the aircraft that acted as a vanguard for tilt rotor tech and also developed a controversial reputation when it came to safety. You really need to look at it as a journey, says Douglas Berkey, the executive director of the Mitchell Institute for Aerospace Studies. The Osprey program, he says, had to define a radically different way of going about vertical flight. 